Hello adventurers! Welcome back to Golden Sun. I'm Maxstream, and in the last episode, we came back three years after the events of the first episode to find out that not only was the town still rebuilding, but it, not many of the characters were able to get over what's happened in the previous episode. Now, in this episode, we will be going back to the town uh, because there are a few things I forgot to get there. First things first, if you go into this house over here and check this pot, you'll find a smoke bomb. If you go into this house up here, you'll find a jar. And in the jar was three coins. Woo. Whoopity doopty. But uh, there's another thing we forgot to get at Creighton's house last episode. I decided to go to the village first because that's the, you know, longest path. Why did I go down here again? I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Inside of Creighton's house, if you check this pot, which we forgot to check last time, you'll find five coins. Also, you could check these books over here. They don't appear to contain anything particularly novel. Well, I guess Isaac isn't that much of a reader then. Now that we've gotten that done, we just have to go back to Soul Sanctum. Or, not Soul Sanctum, we need to go back to where we started and go up to that, uh, what was essentially the hospital of this game. Uh, what's it called? A sanctuary, I believe it's called. So we just gotta travel back up here, uh, go up into the left. What was it that you get? Hold on, I'll just push this back then. There, they're no longer trampling your flowers. Are you happy now? Nope, she isn't. Nothing happens. The end. That's the end of the game. Good night. But if you go over here, this is where the alchemy tower Soul Sanctum is. But we'll get stopped by this guy. You're not planning on sneaking up to Mount Aleph, are you? No. Well, I'll overlook it this time. But I've got my eye on you, Isaac. So the second he turns that corner, we can just, you know, leave. It's that simple. So now we're at the soul entrance. Soul entrance. And we enter in through these doors. This is the entrance to Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Yeah. It's an important relic of our past. Take a good look at it. Okay, neat. Now, over here, you need to... It, well, not you need to. This is a jumping puzzle. You just have to find the right path. It, it's pretty simple, but any any RPG that incorporates jumping puzzles, if it's an RPG and it has puzzles in it, you know they're going to get more difficult with time. And we've already seen these guys. So now we'll continue down towards this path. If we have to backtrack in a dungeon, I'll cut it out, but not normal uh, walking through like our first time through areas and stuff. Also, we've seen vermin before, so I'll just dispose of these guys quickly. And we continue on our path. Uh, up through this door is another jumping puzzle. Now, if I remember, you have to go towards the... While I am going into this game blind, I don't want to be wandering through dungeons for a while, so I did practice uh, this part uh, for a bit. So the beginning of the dungeon is kind of not blind, but after that point, uh, it... Uh, so, a I, after this room, I have no idea what I'm doing. The right eye is sparkling, but there's a hole where the left eye should be. Not synergy, uh, item. Good thing we got it. Yeah, him. Good thing we got a small jewel. Let's use it. Isaac set the small gem into the empty socket. Yeah, I did. You hear the sound of shifting stone. Shifts and stone may break my bones, but God... Okay, and we're back, and I'm gonna have to heal up pretty soon. But we continue on through this way, and I don't know why, but, like, Game Boy Advance, like, and the water that of those things, and the fact that this is all a jumping puzzle reminds me of this old Game Boy Advance Frogger game I had. I'm gonna just see if I could find that and Let's Play it someday. Uh, it's not gonna be the next Let's Play, obviously. I'd, I'd never reveal my next Let's Plays, well, unless you're watching on a certain platform that would allow you to see the subtle hints I drop. What's wrong, Kraden? Hmm. Those two said there was a hidden passage leading deeper into the Sanctum. 
I've come here many times and I've always thought I would it looks strange. I had always imagined Soul Sanctum would look different somehow. What do you mean? Soul Sanctum was built to honor in honor of the sun. There ought to be something to here to reflect that. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. If there is a hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. I think he's serious. Should we help him, Isaac? Well, yeah, of course. But it's too dangerous for us to split up. We should stay together. Then what? We should help him. Okay. Well, I mean, we can't split up to help him, so let's just all go the same path. What's through here? Let's hope that the left path is the right path. Uh, ooh, nope, new enemies. Slimes. They're slimy and stuff. And I, and judging by how these aren't familiar, I'm guessing... Never mind, I was going to guess that they were stronger than normal enemies, but that one died in the same amount of hits, and so did this one. I think. No, th the second one took three hits. Huh. Oh god, it's a, it's a looping maze. Let's try left. God! And we've seen all these enemies before. Be right back. Okay, uh, we're back, and I also neglected to acknowledge the fact that if we check status, Isaac leveled up to level 2. Did anyone else? Nope. Uh, but yeah, Isaac is now level 2. Which is neat. Also, I forgot to mention what each of these guys are. Isaac is a squire, which it doesn't tell you. Okay. Isaac's a squire. Uh, Garrett's a guard, and Jenna is a flame user. So when I uh, checked last time and was like, she doesn't have any synergy. She has battle synergy, not synergy, synergy. She has battle synergy. I got a small jewel. Hey, guess what, guys? Garrett has has leveled up as well. Neat! Uh, but he also needs healing, so now we're gonna... Do I have synergy? That... Restore 70 HP. But I don't have any items that can restore synergy at the time. Yeah, I don't. So I'm just going to use the herbs on this guy so he could heal. Uh, she needs healing desperately. And I think... Oh, they all have herbs. Never mind. So I don't need to worry that much. And I'll use Jenna's only herb on Isaac. Okay, and we continue moving. So we got the small jewel. Let's see what's to the right. Ah! Okay, let's continue going this way and see what's to the right. Um, nothing. Okay, what's down? Oh, we didn't see what's up into the and to the right. Okay. Oh. I guess now would be the best time to show this off. Uh, all their synergy. So, press A to see the synergy. Uh, Isaac has Cure, which can be used in towns, dungeons, and in battle. It heals 70 HP. He has Move, which can only be used in towns and dungeons to move objects. Retreat, which allows you to escape to a dungeon entrance. I don't know why it can be used in towns, but I understand why it can be used in dungeons. And Quake, it's an attack with a powerful Quake. Also, the symbols on the side I believe they tell you how they work, so I believe Quake uh, does the most damage to the enemy in the middle and then does less damage to the enemies on the side. Uh, Garrett, he has Move, we've already been over that, and Flare, attack with uh, Flaring Flames, and it has the same effect as uh, Isaac's Quake, except it's Fire Elemental. Element. Oh, and there's four elements. From left to right we have, oh, go down. From left to right, we, is it not going to let me see each individual one? Apparently not. We have earth, water, fire, and wind. Or, yeah, earth, fire, water, and wind. Other way around. What am I talking about? Uh, Jenna and Garrett both have level 5 fire, and Isaac has level 5 ground. Uh, and she knows flare, which is the same thing as Garrett. Jenna's the traditional mage character. She's the one who's supposed to be doing most of the magic and stuff. Hence why she has the highest uh, synergy points. And 
uh, lowest health. <clears throat> More statues. Hmm. It doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Isaac, try and use your synergy. Okay. Synergy. And move. Okay, nothing there. What if I end up wasting all my synergy here? Nothing there. No, not cure. Move. God. Darn it. Move to the left. Nothing there. I swear, if it ends up being the last one I, che I check. You know what? I'm gonna skip these two and check this one, because it might end up being that one. Ah, there we go. The right, the right eye is sparkling, but there's a whole blah 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 items and stuff. Uh, wide eye, quick synergy. I meant items. Small jewel, use. Yeah. You hear the sound of shifting stone. Yeah. Progress, progress, prog. Or not, because this would also be the best chance to show off Isaac's uh, quake. So I'm gonna use quake on these bats. Have Garrett attack this guy and Jenna attack this guy. Boom! The, the ground just lifts up and wow, that does like no damage. Oh, well, to be fair, he's not that leveled up in you know that thing. What's it called? Synergy, yeah. Synergy, yeah. So I'll just have Jenna take them out with flare. Yeah, like I said, I'll meet you at back of the hall since we have nothing else to show off. Okay, so, uh, I didn't check all the way out to the right. This was the place we were supposed to go. So, God. Ooh, nope, these are new. A maze. A maze 1 and a maze 2. They're amazing. These guys are tough. Because that, that one on the right got critical hit and it didn't die. Well, this one did, but that's because we already damaged it a bit. Oh, Isaac leveled up. Neat. Uh, I, I need to stop mashing through those things when, uh, just in case. But yeah, level three squire. Nice. Okay, well this was a pointless path. And knowing how these things work, there's probably something to the left over there. I'm gonna use synergy to get rid of these guys. Synergy. Synergy. Oh wait, no, I'm cutting this part out. Okay, let's see what's over to the left path. Ooh, a thing. It's some herbs. In the most destructive ways, I got a secret hideout. This is it. We found it. Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. It's just as I'd imagine, which means those two were telling the truth. But what if what they said... But if what they said was true, then that means they must have been... They, they were thieves. Yeah. They were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! Let's hurry back to the village and tell everybody. Graydon, what's the matter? We're so close. Close? Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Soul Sanctum to turn our back on it and leave. There's... There's something wrong with that? Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to... What do you think? Shall we go a little further? Against my better judgment... Sure. Thank you! If you put it that way, we don't have much choice. I'm with Creighton. I want to look inside. Really? We'll just go a little bit further. He's like a child. He's like an old man child. Good! It's decided. Let's move ahead. So excited. Whoa. Whoa. What is... Whoa. What is this room? 
There's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna. Oh yeah, our moon's name is Luna, isn't it? This must symbolize night. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Well, yeah. Luna and Soul. These rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? What does it all mean, Isaac? Would you look further up the passage? Sure. Let me know what you find. We'll just stay here and, you know, admire it. Aurora Borealis sure is pretty. Even in video game form. Uh, what's in here? Huh. Oh, I get what we have to do already. And I'm not gonna use Synergy, because that's just... Oh... Whoa, 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 what's happening? Isaac must have found something. Isaac, stop! You're about to make a big mistake! Wait, Isaac! What's wrong, Creighton? This is a most interesting mechanism you found, Isaac. Thanks. But this clearly is some kind of trap. What? It's... This is... a trap? Why did I think you said, what it's? Go look in the Luna room and you'll understand. I'd rather not. Let's see. You've done well finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you just move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Wheel. Now I'm good. Oof. Well, even if I told you now, you probably wouldn't understand. We must try to find a solution to this mystery. Sheesh, another mystery. I'll keep checking the Luna Room. You continue exploring the Sanctum. My intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Okay, so obviously we don't do Luna first. Isaac, let's see if we can figure this out ourselves. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask Creighton for any hints. I doubt he'd give me any anyways. Uh, what am I doing? Can I go that way? No, I have to jump from here. And maybe I can use move on this. Do I have to be standing here? Of course I'm in the way. Gosh. So these are on the right places. But if I move this here, that creates a light in front of it. This. Oh, can I can I reach it from here? Why did I choose item? I meant synergy. If I could reach it from here. Dang it. Burn. A gone. Uh, let's move it here as well. It creates a hole. Huh. And then if we use synergy to move... Yeah, we could finally grab it. It falls into the hole. And then the lights are shining onto the platform. Something clicked. Ooh, let's check downstairs. Let's see what clicked. Wait, there is a path that way. Probably gonna run into a monster, though, by going this way. Because that's how this... Whoa. A synergy stone. Synergy stone. Fully restored. And I'm guessing it's not an item we... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oil drop. Yeah, it's not an item we get to keep. Oh, well. At least our is fully restored. Yep, this was just a synergy recharge room. I need to get used to calling it synergy. Uh, let's see... Well, let's go down here and see what that changed. Nothing's changed in that room, but if we go over here, what clicks? Maybe that was deactivating the trap, so maybe we have to go back up, and now we move the statues. 
uh, it, above Luna. Let's hope this doesn't mess anything up. It's gonna go down, and... What's happening? Ooh, we change that thing. Yeah, we change a thing, but... Isaac must have found something. Oh, and this time it's not doing electric. You found it, Isaac! Creighton! Excellent work, Isaac. Where did that hole come from? Uh, we burned it in the ground. When Isaac moved the statues, two beams of light shot out from them, and then this hole appeared in the floor. We burned a hole in the ground. And Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm. Good work, everyone. I need to remember to get close to the mic. Oops, I forgot to shut that noise thing off. Sadly, I can't shut the noise on my, you know, computer off. I need a better computer so it doesn't make this noise, or better microphone, one of the two. So the statue trap. And that other statue was here to disarm the trap. Now that you've disarmed it, we should be all right. I'll observe from the Luna room, where it's safe. You handle the, ring, the rest. Oh, wow. Yeah, thanks. I'll, I'll go over there where it's safe. You guys do the rest, okay? I swear, if it plays a cutscene every time we do this... Okay, good. That would get annoying fast. Okay, and down here... And we've changed all three into suns. What happens if we step on the golden sun? I mean, just the regular sun. It's not golden. It looks like a regular old platform. We now have two suns. And the room's no longer all lunified. Look, Isaac! The picture of Luna changed to soul! But other than that, nothing looks different. That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting a trap here, and this is all that happens? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it. It's probably in the room, like, to the left, because that's how these usually work. Yep, now this is Luna. Look! The symbol on the floor! It changed from Soul to Luna! Surely there must be something in this room. Let's try, uh, you know, touching the light. And it's Prattle. It's Prattle. Aha! This has to be it. Let's go, Isaac. Yeah. Why did you... Okay. Wait for me, Isaac. I'm on my way. He's gonna get in there and we're gonna be dead. I'm calling it now. We're dead. Immediately. We step in here and we're dead. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! So pretty. Actually, yeah, this is. Hold on. And screenshotting. Or screenshotting. <sighs> Whoa, where are we? Uh, I'm gonna wait until I get a better view. Because I need. I, I wanted. This looks amazing, and I want this as a background. I'm gonna keep this as a background. Is that. The ocean. He's so excited. I mean, I'm so excited. No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. This is just water. The ocean? What's that? The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. You would not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. Ooh, look, jumping puzzles, I bet. There we go. The elemental stars. They really exist! The elemental stars exist! You taught us about those. Elements are the foundation of all matter. Stones, wood, even us. All things are made from those four elements. Did I get it right, Isaac? Yeah, you did. Exactly. 
As I have told you many times, the elements are the sources, the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legend of Earth, water, fire, and air. All four nations used to live in perfect, uh, whatever, I don't remember the whole thing. Legend holds that the four elemental stars contain the purified essence of each element. And now those legendary stones are before us. The Venus star, the elemental stone of Earth. Mercury star, possessing the power of water's many forms. There is the Mars star, glowing red with the fire contained within. Sorry, I choked on my own spit there. And Jupiter star, bound with the wind's fury. Craden, why are you getting so excited? How can you be so calm in the face of such wonders? You're looking at the very source of all alchemy! Haven't I told you all this before? Yeah, you have. We just didn't pay attention. What? I must have fallen asleep then. Because I don't have a clue what he's talking about. God... The Wisdom Stone. The Stone of the Sages. The stone dominates everything. It could transmutate crude matter into gold. Even thwart death itself. You understand now, don't you? I've understood since the beginning. It's awesome. The study of alchemy began with a search for this very stone. It, I don't really get how it works, but they have enormous power, right? Beyond enormous, with a single gem one could conquer the world. Now perhaps you begin to understand. Don't scare us like that, Creighton. I totally thought you were serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. Who could say what the truth is? That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. I seek to learn the truth about these stones. Now they lie before me. Whoa! Be careful, Graydon! It looks slippery! But I must examine the elemental stars. Make the boys do it! Uh, and you're not coming with us? Why? Oh, I couldn't ask. He'd be glad to get the stone for you, right, Isaac? Yeah, sure. Alchemy and studying and all that. Thank you. You'll need this, Isaac. Da -da 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 -da. You brought those from your cottage, right, Creighton? What are those bags? They're made of woven threads of mithril. Ooh. I prepared them for just such an occasion. Now, go fetch the elemental stars and put them in those bags. You got the mithril bags. Wrong game. Isaac got four mithril bags. Well, uh, this episode's been going on for a long time, so I believe that's where we're going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment or subscribe and all of that. Uh, check out uh, check out the Gaming Squad linked in the description, and check out any other channels that might be there. I don't know. Maybe my channel is there. Maybe Lapis's channel. It wouldn't be because he's not in this video, but you know what I mean. Just just check them out, and I will we'll see you guys in the next part of our adventure. Ciao.